Hey, hey everybody, what's going on? It's Common Country 1014 coming at you with a small haul from last night's shift at Second Charles. Uh, yeah, just uh, I found some, found some pretty good books. There's one gem in here that I'm happy to have found and I got them for the price I got it at. Uh, yeah, you'll see at the very end. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, start this uh, haul off with oh man, this is a uh, he man, well, the tempt to tempt the gods, masters of the universe. Oh man, I had this one in my collection. Oh man, like I said, most of these I had in my collection. That's why I'm so happy to have them again back into my PC, you know. Uh, and for the prices I got, yeah, one of the girls there, she had uh, she had a stack of books, and I was like going through them. And I saw these books, and I go, oh my gosh, I go, hey, do you mind if I have these? I go, I, I had them in my collection, you know, it'd be really, it'd really mean a lot to me if I can go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, you know. Uh, bring them back into my collection again if that's okay with you and she was you know kind enough to say yeah go ahead and take them Eric I'm like oh cool man so I was very ecstatic to uh, to have these back in my in my in my PC again uh, like I said uh, I'm a big He-Man fan you know growing up in the in the 80s you know well the 70s actually I'm just, <laughs> I'm giving away my age or whatever but you know 80s you know when the the uh, you know the cartoons you know Thundercats and you know Silverhawks and Masters of the Universe came on man shit uh, I loved He-Man you know I had all the toys and all that, but um, yeah, but to have this book back to my PC again, it's really nice. Uh, it's in really good condition as well, too. I'd say maybe uh, fine, you know, fine minus there. Um, but yeah, it's so awesome, man, just to have it back in my collection. <sighs> so I know we're I get number one. I got number two. I don't think I had this one in my collection, but I do now. <laughs> and, uh, what I, and I also have number three. Yeah, man. I don't know about this one either, but like I said, I do now. So yeah, man, it keeps on getting better and better. Um, like I said, and you know, for thirty-three cents, I should say, not fifty cents, thirty-three cents. <clears throat> but yeah, this is in good condition as well too. Very fine. Um, yeah, I say very fine. Yeah, condition. Damn, your colors pop. Yeah, the yellows and the pinks, and yeah, man. Hell yeah. All right, now sorry about the empty space there, guys and gals. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm gonna start off with my 50 centers you now. So, uh, oh yeah, Iceman. Yeah, this is the uh, four issue mini series, limited series. And I believe at one time, I think I saw it on Comic Tom's one of his videos. I think him and Russ were doing, and they had mentioned something about the character in, in this in this series or this run here. Um, I think it was Oblivion. I can't remember who it is, but. Um, Anyways, I just saw him there for 50 cents, and, you know, once again, that girl that gave me the book, went ahead and let me have the He-Man book. She went ahead and let me snag these books from her, snag these books from her as well, too, so I was really happy about that. So, she didn't have to, but she had the kindness of her heart. She's like, yeah, go ahead and take them, man. I'm like, cool. So, anyways, I have Iceman number one. This is really good, because I see very fine, man. Very fine, very fine plus, probably. The colors really pop on here. You know, the blues and the pinks again are really nice and vibrant. Got number one. Also have number two. Heck yeah, man. This is in good condition too. The whites are pretty white. Heck yeah, man. Number three. Yeah, look at those pinks, how they pop. Oh my gosh, man. Heck yeah, that pink just pops off the page. And the green. Shh. And also have number four. I think this is the character right here that Comic Tom and them had mentioned in his in his um in his one of his videos here, yeah. So to have to have all these for thirty three cents a piece, hell yeah, man. And the blacks are pretty nice and black. I mean, it's maybe one one spine tick that I can see, maybe or maybe not. Maybe the very bottom somewhere, like a little bend. But other than that, yeah, the blacks are really nice. Yeah. All right. Let me go ahead and put the rest of the stack up there. These are gonna be the rest of my fifty centers. Uh, yes, is uh, you know as we all know, Conan's you know getting popular again. Um, I don't have any of the modern uh, day Conan books, um, but I did find these right here. Conan the Destroyer. I remember I love this movie. Arnold Schwarzenegger, man, she's he looks so badass in this movie. I love this movie. Um, but yeah, that's the whole reason why I got it was because you know him and you know of course that's him on the cover, a or, or, or rendition of him right there. So, and it's the number one issue. And it's got some spine ticking on it. You know, you guys can see it. You guys and girls can see it. Right there, it's pretty. They're not bad. I mean, they're tiny, but they're there. Um, little small band right there in the bottom right. Don't know what that is. I think that's just dirt, but whatever. It's all good, man. Should I pick that one for thirty-three cents? 
Uh, and then I, oh my God, I wish I had all my, uh, the new Avengers run with, you know, Ronin and stuff. The first appearance of Ronin, Hawkeye's Ronin. Oh my gosh, man, I kicked myself in the ass, man. Those, how much those books are going for? I had like two sets of everything too. Shit, man. I, know, I don't think this is part of it, but I just picked it just to try to add, you know, start my new Avengers collection up again. I don't think I have any of those issues at all. So to find this one for 33 cents, it's in pretty decent. I think fine, minus condition, probably fine. So, and I think this might have been another one I saw in Comic Tom in one of his recent uh, videos. Um, I think I'm not too sure. I might be mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I mean something about Hawkeye. I can't remember what it had to do with, but um, yeah, I just I could because where I seen this this cover was in one of his videos. Maybe maybe not. I don't know. But if it's not, oh well. If it is, you know, thirty three cents. You know, it's all good. And this one, oh yeah, I had this one back. I had this one in my collection to see it there for 33 cents or 50 cents, you know, but my price, 33 cents. I, the only reason I got is because of Venom right there, man. He looks sick. <laughs> and inside, they have some uh, panels of uh, McFarland, you know, some of his pages from, I think, 300. And I I don't remember when 300 came out. 300 came in 87 or 88. I can't remember when it came out. Um, but if it didn't come out, if it came out after that, then this book is precedes it or predates it, I think. But anyways, I, I don't, I don't think it does. Um, but anyways, I just got it just cause I have Venom right there at the very bottom. Hell yeah, man. And this is my DC, uh, 50 centers. I, uh, I had, oh my gosh, I kicked myself in the ass, man. Oh yeah. I keep kicking myself in the ass every single day, man. Every time I watch you guys' videos, every time I see the prices go up on all these damn books that I used to have. Yeah. Oh wow, man. Anyways, this is a six sixty four. I don't. I don't know if it's part of Damian Wayne. I don't know if it is or not. Um, maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'm getting closer to it. I don't know. I think six sixty six is. So I haven't found those books yet. But yeah, that's all good. And then I just got some because of Michael Turner. I love this cover of Wonder Woman that he did. It has a couple of spine ticks on it. The black's not that black, but oh well. <laughs> it's all good. And then, last but not least, I had this book as well in my collection, and I just got it again just for the hell of it. It's in better condition than the one I had, of course, but, eh, just got it. All right, now on for the bigger books. Well, I mean, they're not big, big books, but you'll see. Uh, yeah, Batman Detective Comics 826. <laughs> yeah, I love this cover that Simon Binacci did right here, man. The Joker <laughs> having his gun right there, robbing shit. I like the black and white too. It's nice. I mean, the gray tones are uh, nice, nicely done by them. <clears throat> so I got eight twenty six. I, I like the Hardy Queen and Batman. That's kind of cool. Eight thirty one. Look, I got them for what eighty eight cents. Um, my price, so way under cover price, <laughs> which well, a little under cover price. Eight fifty one. <laughs> yeah man when I saw this one I was like oh man man did they have 850 oh man because I know I got burned I got burned so many times when I was at when I before I was working at Second Charles you know and every time I had ran to I think I told you the story but you guys probably remember but I had told a story one of the guys that I met there <clears throat> he he comes in from time to time and him, I, him and I talk comic shop you know and or comic book you know stuff you know and he was telling me that uh, he had just been in there last week and found 850 for I think it was 50 cents or something like that Oh, wow, well, man. So I got 851. So but that's all good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got 850 for 88 cents. Oh, my gosh. I was almost going to pull the trigger again on, on eBay because uh, I really wanted one back in my collection. I'm still uh, still looking for it. Was it the 888? I think it is. Uh, the Jock or 888, the Jock cover. So the Joker one. Oh, my gosh, man. Like I said, kicking myself in the ass. But hey, man, this is a start. You know, I got Batman and Tech fifty for eighty-eight cents. Hell yeah, man! It's in pretty decent condition. The white is not as white as I like it to be. I don't know if that's the way it is or not, but it's a little tanning. But staples are all nice. The the cover, the, uh, there's no spine rolls or nothing like that. So hell yeah, man. <clears throat> and then these are the last two any books. I had to pay a little more for these right here, but. Uh, I think I hear there's a TV series or something going on with Reborn. Um, I used to have one through, I think, six, I think, at one point. Of course, I don't anymore, but 
<laughs> it's all good, man. So I got this. Uh, re- this is all that we had at, at Second and Charles. Is it reborn uh, number three. I think this is cover C right here. Um, not one of my favorite covers, of course, but oh well. It's number three by Greg Capullo. And I like this cover right here. Just sick cover here. I like this one. And number six. Yep. And way undercover price. This is five ninety nine. dollars realize this is five ninety nine. Holy shit, man. What's one five ninety nine? But uh, anyways, uh, that's going to do it for my haul, boys and girls. Like I said, it was a small little haul this time. Hope you guys enjoyed. I really enjoyed watching the, you know, all your videos. I, I, you know, I subbed a, a few uh, new um, YouTubers. Well, not new, but new since I've been out of the game you know, for a while. Um, well, I guess not a while, I guess, but, you know, finding these new YouTubers and, you know, I came across this one, this one YouTuber, <laughs> he found some damn good books on at 2NC. It's like, holy shit, man, if I can find what he's finding there, I mean, I know I found some pretty decent books, but, man, he found some damn good books, man. So, I can't remember his, his channel, his, his YouTube channel, but, uh, yeah, he uh, he's a, he, he's a, he, he surprised me with the books that he found, man, and uh, I just subbed them today, and, yeah, but anyways... Um, I just want to say thank you guys for your continued support. I really enjoy watching all you guys' videos, all you guys and gals' videos. And, uh, you know, continue collecting, you know, and, uh, you know, have a good day, guys and gals. And uh, Comic Hunter 1014 out. Cheers.